so I think that now that generative AI has been out for, for a few months in the mass one, you know, a, a awakening of the marketplace, I think we've now got a consolidated view of, of the applications or maybe the five core applications of that. At the same time, though, it is still moving fast. I mean, Google only last week um, did their big event where they just added a whole new suite of AI that we still have to process and think when and where do we start integrating that level of AI into, into our platform and into our thinking. But in essence, I, I think if you look at, with the exception of some things we're doing already, like AI translation localization, um, which is already kind of mainstream, um, there's obviously a lot of noise in the marketplace about, in the learning tech marketplace, about using AI, generative AI, to create courses faster or more efficiently. And that's kind of interesting to us, right? But I think every tech vendor from Google to Microsoft to Adobe to all of them are going to be having far more advanced ways to create PowerPoint slides and videos using um, generative AI. So if interest for us, but we see probably plugging into that more, more relevant. I think where we find generative AI immensely exciting um, is, is to help on both of the learner needs um, in, the, in how we see learning being used or learning technology being used. One is at the moment of career and the other is a moment of need. So what we mean by moment of career is um, how does learning, how can we use AI to automate the experience to um, give you a, an automated learning journey based upon who you are and, and actually where you want to be next in your career. So if you want to go from individual contributors to line manager, how does it know that? And how does it help you with recommendations of foundational courses, knowledge to go do that? That's a separate type of AI because that's about matching courses to your skills gaps, which absolutely um, is what we're, what's being released in Fuse over the months to come. The other side to it is a different type of AI, right? Which is how do you help the operational leaders allow learners to be more effective with their job today? So, and that type of stuff is more around um, ability to find answers accurately in a much faster way. And, you know, whether that's through a coach or whether that's through questions and answers. So two radical different versions of um, how AI is being used. One is, you know, through intelligent, smart recommendations and understanding everything in a smarter way to produce smarter recommendations versus the ability to, for example, in the stuff that we're releasing um, now is if you put 50, 500 page manuals into the product, you don't have to think about it for the learner to ask a question and find the perfect answer that exists in one of those manuals in one of those paragraphs on page 174. That's, that's a great application of AI that, for example, for call centers would reduce average handling time by half. For personal service technicians in, in you know, car manufacturers, it would reduce the time to make sure they're fixing the car in the right way, in the most accurate way, delivering a higher quality of service. So that's learning and knowledge for today versus the other part toward it, which is how do I help recommend things to you to develop in the background than the new skills and new knowledge to be better at your career.